When teaching new players EFT, there's a series of questions I get asked more than anything else. What items should I be keeping and what items should I be selling? Of course, I could just sit there and look through their scav junk box listing off which items to sell and which they'll need later. But I always opt not to do this. There are thousands of items in Tarkov and it can be extremely daunting to attempt to memorize the importance of each. But having someone give you this information directly doesn't do much to help you start memorizing. That's why I've created this video. I'll be giving you all the information you need to learn whether or not you should be picking up or leaving behind every item you come across, and whether or not to sell it or save it in your stash for later. Before we get into it, you can find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash johnnybusak or on TikTok under the same name. Before we start defining the specifics of why you'd want to keep certain items, it's important that you have a complete understanding of Tarkov's found in raid system. If you look at an item's icon, there's a chance you'll see a small white check mark in the bottom right corner. If this check is there, that means the item is considered found in raid. There are a few scenarios that can make an item be found in raid or not found in raid. If an item didn't exist prior to the raid you found it in, as in it was not brought in by another player, it's going to be found in raid. An example would be looting any container in a raid. As long as another player didn't dump items in there, what you find inside will be considered found in raid. On the opposite end, this means that if you kill a player and loot their gear, none of what they brought into the raid will be considered found in raid. This does expand further. If you loot an item in raid which has found in raid status, but you place it in your secure container and then die after, the item will no longer be found in raid. You'll need to survive the raid with the items you find for them to be considered found in raid. Run throughs will also affect this. If you extract from a raid too quickly and get a run through, it doesn't count as a survive, and anything you've looted from that raid will lose its found in raid status. Another common mistake people will make is finding an item they need found in raid, but accidentally leaving it on their PMC when entering another raid, making it lose the found in raid status. With this in mind, always check your secure container or any case you're carrying to make sure you've emptied out the items inside from the previous raid. Another scenario to note is that any items crafted in the hideout are also considered found in raid, a good thing to keep in mind when we talk more about items moving forward. Lastly, any items received as quest rewards will also be considered found in raid. Now that we've gone over the found in raid system, we can get into the reasons as to why you would or wouldn't want to loot or keep certain items. We're going to be going over each of these reasons in order from highest to lowest priority. The first and most important reason to keep an item is for a quest. There are plenty of quest specific items in Tarkov that you'll need to gather and survive with to hand into a trader, which only exist while that particular quest is active. An example would be Prapper's Quest Checking, where you need to recover a bronze pocket watch on customs. While these quest specific items are important to understand, I want to keep them separate from what we're talking about today. The types of quest items I'm referring to for this video are generic items that need to be acquired found in raid for a quest. An example of a quest like this would be Mechanics Quest Farming Part 2, where he requires you to find two power cords, four T-plugs, and two circuit boards found in raid. For these types of quests, the items do not need to be all found in the same raid, but they all need to have the found in raid status when handed in. Understanding this gameplay loop is essential, as it can save you a ton of time as you progress through quest lines if you save the items you need for later quests. I'll show you the best ways to find out this information later, but for now, keep items that are needed for quests at the top of your priority list. Quests will help you level up quickly, as well as level your traders quickly, both of which are essential to succeed in EFT. The next reason why you keep an item is for hideout construction. When you don't have access to the flea market, which is the game's player-to-player -player selling system, it can be very difficult to find the items you need in order to construct the different stations throughout your hideout. Some of these stations are essential for progress, since they can help you craft items you'll need for quests, amongst other useful items. With this said, it's important you know which items you'll need to construct these different stations as you find them throughout your raids. An example would be finding a syringe or multivitamins. Both of these can be difficult to find when starting out, but are necessary to construct med station level 1. Knowing that you need these and items like them ahead of time can be crucial to your process of determining what items to pick up during your raids. Reason number three of why you'd want to keep an item is for its market price. Frequently, you'll encounter an item that you may not need and which might not sell for a large amount directly to traders, but it can be sold for a large amount on the flea market. A lot of this information comes with time as market prices can fluctuate rapidly depending on the time of day, the length of time into a wipe, and just based on various updates to the game. If you have access to the flea market and are not in a raid, you can right click on any item and select filter by item to see what price it's currently being sold for on the market. You can also utilize websites such as TarkovMarket.com to search for current market prices on the fly. 
A good mindset to have when considering what items to hold on to based on value while in a raid is to gauge their per slot value. If you have the option between a single slot item, which is worth 15,000, and a two slot item, which is worth 20,000, the single slot item has a better per slot value at 15,000 per slot versus 10,000 per slot. This is an especially important mindset to have as a low level player because larger backpacks will be harder to come by, so every slot in your small bag matters. Reason number four of why to keep an item is for crafting. As you upgrade your hideout, you'll unlock many crafts where the item you're crafting costs much more than the materials required to craft it. An example of this would be many of the different ammos that can be crafted at the workbench. Some of these rounds can cost a thousand rubles or more per bullet when bought directly, when the price can be cut down heavily by taking the time to craft it. As you upgrade your different stations, take a look at the crafts available to you and compare the input cost versus the output value of each to determine whether or not you should be keeping the required materials. Our last reason as to why you want to keep an item would be for barters. There are many different barter trades across the different traders in EFT, many of which are extremely useful and many of which are a waste of money. Similarly to crafting, you'll need to compare the pricing of your input versus output to determine whether or not a barter is worth it. These barters are always changing, as are prices, so it's always worth doing a quick price check. Additionally, you'll often encounter items, usually gear and weapons, that are only available via a barter trade, so it's very important to have the required items for the trades you like in the back of your mind at all times while looting. Now that we've gone over all the reasons why you'd want to keep an item, you're likely met with the question, how do I know if I'll need an item for a quest, hideout upgrade, or craft I don't have yet? This is where we have to take a step out of the game for a moment, as this information isn't directly available to us if we haven't progressed to that point in the game. The official Escape from Tarkov wiki is something you should consider to be your handbook as you play. For any item in the game, it'll tell you every possible situation you can need it for. For example, let's look at the page for CPU fans. We can see that 8 are needed found in raid for the quest farming part 4. A large amount are needed for both the bitcoin farm and vents in your hideout. They're used for various barters with peacekeeper and mechanic, and they're one of the materials needed to craft a graphics card at your intelligence center. This sort of information can be acquired for any in-game item. You can also open up the wiki pages for related quests to see how far ahead they are from the quests you're on currently to further help determine if you want to keep an item or not. My best recommendation for beginners is to get in the habit of searching the wiki for each item you found as you offload it into your inventory after a raid. This way, you can properly sort out the items you need to keep for later from the ones you just want to sell. For the ones you want to sell, be sure to always compare trader sale prices to market prices to ensure you're getting the most profit possible. And that's pretty much all I have for this video. Hopefully all this gives you a better understanding of how to determine which items to keep and which to sell or leave behind in raid. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to add them in the comments. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one.